Okay, I'm back. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to remember what I just said, but I want to talk about people hating me for thinking, for me saying that Peter is Michael. Okay? Uh, they, she's terrible. She's awful. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. Let me make videos telling people how terrible she is. Ah! Okay? Now, of course, he's got to hide his identity. Number one is because he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> right? Number two, I didn't invent that Peter was Michael. This has been going around since 2005. Okay? I was no easy win to Peter was Michael. He called me on January 15th. You gotta watch a live three. I swear to God. Where's the live three? You gotta watch a live three. You gotta watch this one. This one especially. And it's a part of the, the trilogy. But this one. Okay? And everything isn't in this one. Okay? Because stuff has happened afterwards. Um, or it was 105 minutes long. I was like, God, I can't put more in there. In there. You know, like the Wiz, Add a Pearl. They put that back in the Wiz. Um, the, the, the Jeep uh, that I sold, Chrysler Jeeps. And Michael ended up selling Chrysler Jeeps. And he had them announce the collaboration on my birthday. The Jeep CEO announced their collaboration with Michael Jackson on my birthday. Nobody else knew I sold Jeeps. Nobody else knew I sold Chrysler's. I didn't tell you guys I worked for four years selling cars during this death announcement from 2012 to 2016. I worked 50 to 55 hours, 50 to 60 hours a week while I still did my Michaeling. And that's why from a live one being re uh, copywritten in 2010 to a live two in 2016 and a live three in 2017, that's why there's that gap, because I worked. Okay, so believe me, this hasn't been easy. And nobody, and I didn't tell anybody, any of you fans, where I worked. A couple of you that I was close to, I told that I sold cars. Okay, Peter knew. And who I told, you don't have, you don't have an in way to Chrysler in this state, so. <laughs> All right, but that's a big one, ain't it? Okay, I didn't put that in live three because I it was already a lot about me and I could have put more stuff about me, but I didn't, okay? But anyway, uh, people want to ha hate me. Now, what I said in the end of the last video, which I have to repeat here, uh, the only way Michael can fake an accent, he can fake notes, he can fake addresses, he can fake locations, he can fake acting dumb, he can make up a story and make up a family, and he can have recordings to let you think people are in the house when they're not. He, all that can be faked, all that stuff, because we know how to make movies. He know he loves movies. So he just incorporates all this stuff, like Bobby Anderson is a character in his that has a brother and two sisters, and they're like the clumps. They're all overweight. Okay, and he knew the guy who did the makeup for the clumps. The Rick Baker did makeup for uh, um, uh, the clumps featuring Janet Jackson and Eddie Murphy. Uh, did makeup for Michael's Thriller and Ghost. And Miss Jane Pittman. And Miss Jane Pittman is in a live three. Okay, so you'll, you'll learn about that in the live three. But the predictions that he's made, because you cannot fake a prediction. You cannot fake knowing about a Michael significant uh, project without the one, without being the one who makes it happen in the future. Do you guys, I, do, I said it right better the first time, right? You cannot predict the future unless you are a part of the prediction. You have control over making the goal or making the deadline or making the prediction accurate. So you cannot fake predictions. And I got a list of them. And I'm just gonna read them off real quick, but I want you guys to watch a live three. You just, you just have to. Okay, June 24th, he joined Twitter June 24th. That's a good one, right? Right, that's a good one. Day before the death announcement, he gonna open his Twitter account the day he can't use the other Twitter account that was open in the 17th hour, the 17th minute and 17th second, eight days before the death announcement. I mean, no, what well, was 17 days before the death announcement on June 8th? Ha! Huh, all the numbers, but it's all clear in a live three. If I if I don't make sense to you, 
here, you got to watch a live three because I was painlessly connecting the dots and trying to make it make sense in the documentary. Okay, so a rare pearl, January 15th, a rare pearl. Oh. And I told you guys about Chamilla calling me, which is Michael's scramble. That's another clue. Uh, the Escape album, two years exact to the date. Peter Madani had a page and it said, hugs keep you alive. And then I get a hug in Macy's from somebody who looks like Miss Jane Pittman. <laughs> Gotta watch live three. Okay, Scream. The Scream album was released today. I opened Twitter. Wink, wink, nod, nod, Michael. Thank you. That was cute. Uh, Peter Pan play. Remember that? December 3rd. And then The Wiz, December 4th. And then Janet helped promote that. That was supposed to be Bobby Anderson's birthday. <laughs> that was a good one, Michael. That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. And it's seven months, seven weeks, and seven days to Michael's birthday. <laughs> He's good. These are predictions. These are things that he put out there that we know are attached to him before they actually happened. Even years before and months before and weeks before and even days before. Okay. Uh, me seeing Latoya, or oh, even hours before. Him telling me I'm going to see Latoya, Brenda Ritchie, and uh, Jeffrey in the polo lounge. I hang up, and five minutes later, ten minutes later, I'll go into the polo lounge, and they're right there. And Latoya's making direct eye contact with me. Like, girl, it's okay. You can come talk to me. Come talk to me, girl. Come talk to me. You know, because other than that, people are eating dinner. You really don't want to invade their privacy unless you make eye contact. And the eye contact says, I give you permission. And that's why you have the picture of me with Latoya at the, at the, at the polo lounge at dinner. <laughs> thank you, Michael. Yes, thank you, Michael. He knew I was going out for ages, and Latoya lived five minutes from the polo lounge. And he knew within an hour that I was going to the polo lounge because I had just left the Arsenio Hall taping, and he called me. It's like, so where are you going? Because he knew I was in town. So it was a big plan, and I made a big deal out of it before I went, so it was real cute. Okay, hot chocolate. That was the best one. That was the first one. Remember hot chocolate? And remember uh, Chris Tucker <clears throat> held with hot chocolate? And Justin Bieber, rock and robin, tweet, 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 tweet. And it happened on Twitter. That's so good. These are all Peter things. These are all Peter things. I ain't even done. Janet and the feedback song, The Wiz, with adding back in the character, Add a Pearl, Pearl. <clears throat> um, uh, Price of Fame. The song Price of Fame uh, release when I released my the, uh, Prisoner of Fame was first titled Price of Fame. OK, but we changed the names. Uh, uh, Michael, the Michael character is Jack Gordon. The Dr. Conrad Murray character is Dr. Earl Carter. Uh, you got to watch Alive 1 and Alive 2 for Dr. Earl Carter stuff. Um, and uh, then Tito joined in was singing a song about being in love with a girl named Pearl with 3T. Uh, um, and right at the time where I told him I was finishing the screenplay, right then, right the same time, the same day, uh, the Neverland for sale, before it was announced to the world that Neverland was going for sale, guess who knew? Peter, he released him singing Luther Vandross, a house is not a home, and he sang it better than Luther, but he don't want me to release it. He t I put it up, I put it up on a, uh, another YouTube account, and it's the only one time he told me to take it down, okay? But I loved it. He predicted the hologram, okay? The billboard hologram. He predicted that before it happened, okay? Neverland, one of the Neverland websites, neverlandranch.com or something. He had it as uh, the name of his uh, chat room. And then the estate went ahead and uh, registered that one. Um, um, me registered at michaeljacksondeathhoax.com. The estate registered it. That was fun. Uh, there was a Dinah Ross website that he, him and I talked to personally, and then the estate posted it like the next day as well. I didn't tell you guys about that. There's personal stuff too. Uh, the Black Pearl ship, when I was like, where are you? Where are you? I want to know where you are. Where are you? Where are you, Michael? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And then he released the video of, uh, of, uh, at the, the, the hotel that was closed down for the winter in France. And then he was dancing in the window, and then he put out the ship, the Black Pearl ship, and they were talking about the Pirates of the Caribbean around that time. Paris was posting about the Pirates of the Caribbean, and oh, God, that was fun. That was fun. Okay, Tupac, the clue inside the, the Rare Pearl CD. He told me, yeah, I want you to get the CD. I want you to get the CD. And it mentions Tupac, who's known for ba bum ba bum faking his death. 
you know, uh, one time I, him and I had a long conversation about muse, you know, that you were a muse and because him and I seem to, you know, kind of communicate telepathically, you know, he, he kind of, mm, I don't want to say it, but anyway, so him and I were talking about being a muse and how he's a M-U-S-E, a muse. And then I get off the phone with him and then within 30, 40 minutes, Paris just tweets the word muse. I mean, you cannot make this stuff happen unless you are Michael Joe Jackson. Anything else can be faked. A story can be faked. A family can be faked. A voice can be faked. Things that he does can be faked. But you cannot fake predictions. You cannot fake what's coming unless you're in control of what is coming. And these things are all things that I explain in a live three. So I want you guys to watch a live three. Michael Jackson, the living dead. Okay, guys. So I will put links uh, up underneath things. And, uh, and I think I've given you guys enough info. I think I'm caught up. I think I'm caught up. I probably should put on some chapstick. My lips look a little bit shaped right now. But, mm, so what? You know, I've been busy. I made a film. <laughs> it was so professional. Anyway, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, um, it might be just a pilot, but I will not forget you donors ever, 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 ever. There's not one person out there. Oh, my phone is getting warm. That, that knows me and knows that I do what I say I'm going to do. Love you guys. And I got to go before the phone cuts off. Love you guys. Keep Michaeling and please support by buying a documentary. Um, and, uh, or donating. Okay. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. And I love you, Michael. Bye.